welcome, 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 everybody. Thank you, guys. You made it another week. We made it another week. We did, too. We did. <laughs> we're here. We all made it another week. You're here. We're here. Thank you guys so much for joining us today on our Thursday edition of Title Talk. As always, my name is Drew. And my name is Amy. We are your hosts. And for... friendly faces from the Inspired Group. We are. We are. The title company for the ages. Isn't that special? That's special. So we have a really great show for you guys today. We wanted to uh, thank you guys again for joining us and being part of our weekly show that we come to you live every Thursday at 10 a.m. from our studios here in Palos Heights, Illinois. Um, we have offices as well in uh, Indiana, so we, we thank you guys for uh, calling and you know, replying and sending messages. You guys have been really great. We, we just we just can't say thank you enough to uh, to our followers and um, you guys have been a big part of, of why we do this and we're, we're thankful for for you guys and, and all that you guys do for supporting us and sharing us and liking us and all those sharing great things. Us. So, we like being so, shared. We always like being shared, thank right? Thank you for sharing us. Right? We have our new YouTube videos up from the last couple Check shows. Check them out, they're pretty cool. Yeah, we've they're... done some really great things on our backdrop. Um, we've added some some fun things there and I think it's really great to, to go back and, and look at that uh, uh, and, and kind of laugh with us because there's some really great stories on there. A little bit about uh, Amy and myself, uh, when yes. we had Brittany here uh, uh, last week to introduce her, some, some really fun stories. Mm -hmm. and, um, we even gave you a little bit of knowledge on some investing and things. So today we, we have some a, a great story as well that we're gonna share, but uh, why don't we get into our, our start of the day and uh, get into what is, I guess, one of your favorite, favorite topics. This is the get to know Drew and Amy. Where <laughs> as we, told by Drew and or Amy. <laughs> yeah, where, where questions are asked and answers are given. <laughs> As stories are revealed, so we really uh, and, and Amy dug deep here, and my my hatred has grown for her this week um, because of this ridiculousness that she's bringing. But we won't. Uh, I won't burden you with any more of that. We'll, we'll just get right into our segment. We call get to know Drew and Amy. Do you want to ask first, or do you want me to ask first? Depends on where you're going to ask from. Go ahead, I want you to start right out of the box. Go ahead. Okay, what's your best scary story? Ah, uh, best scary story, so I wrote it. So in this I one, remember it. In this I really didn't know which way I was thinking about this. So like, I feel when you leave a big open ended question like yeah. that, you can go anywhere you want Leaves, with it. leaves opportunities, and I, I read it that way as well. So what is your best scary story? Okay, so. Oh, those glasses. I tell a, I tell a quick story, um, and uh, I, I, I developed a, a, a real, fondness for writing now mm -hmm. and uh, so I think about when when somebody asks me to share something that I give it some thought mm -hmm. and I, 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 I do a little kind of mental research within my my brain to go what are some things that have happened in my life and, and kind of put pieces of it all together yeah. so there's a young woman and she's driving home late one night when she notices a truck driving up directly behind her no one else is on the road she waits for the truck to pass her, but instead, it stays directly behind her. It flashes its high beams. She becomes a little unsettled. No matter how fast she drives or which back roads she heads down, the truck stays close behind her, continuing to flash its high beams every few minutes. Terrified, she speeds home with the truck right on her tail. It pulls into the driveway. She leaps out and tries to run to her front door. But the truck driver gets out too, and he's holding a gun. He points the gun in her direction and shoots. The woman screams, but the bullet wasn't for her. She turns to see the body of a man fall out of the back seat of her car, clutching a butcher's knife. The shaken driver explains that he noticed the man in the back seat of her car and he was trying to signal her every time the man raised the knife to stab her by flashing his high beams. I got willies on that one. Yeah. I wrote that at like 11.45 last night. <laughs> that didn't happen to you, did it? Were you the man with the butcher knife in the back of a car? 
I don't want to answer that question. <laughs> That's creepy. Maybe I was the guy in the high beams. Maybe you were. Except you would never drive a truck. Hey, we didn't say semi, it's a truck. I'm, I'm looking to buy a truck for its buyer development. What are you talking about? Not for you. Yes, That's a good one. There you go. Thank That's you for that. That's my story. Yeah, yeah, how about that? Interesting. So I, I didn't know where you were going to go, but that was good. I liked it. Thank you. All right, Amy. So, who is the most intelligent person you know? Grandma Cookie. Grandma Cookie. Grandma Cookie came back again. Um, so, this wasn't, I had three or four different people written down when you first gave me this question because there's so many yeah there's so many different ways to measure intelligence do you care to tell who the others might be my brother was my first uh, I, I i was gonna guess that yeah because you've often mentioned about and uh, he is for sure one of still one of the yeah. smartest people i know um but then you know what you you go through the, your life and you go through the people you know and like there is nobody that knows life more than grandma cookie experience she's experience lived speaks. everything she's got came from nothing to you know, to where she is now, and you know, just hearing her talk, she's she's wise beyond her years, and right. she's oh my god, how old is she? Ninety? Wow! And she's like ninety, going on or eighty-five? Is she? Wow. Sorry, Cookie. You probably should know this. I should. It's your grandma. It is. It's I'm terrible. sorry, but it's she's terrible. like going on sixty-five, and she is just relax over there. Did you just celebrate her birthday with a cruise? Yes. What number was it? An add one. Anyway, I digress. We know who the smartest isn't. <laughs> I might be the funniest guy I know. You are, you're the only one laughing. So you're ridiculous. The audience? They are for they, sure. Right now. They're, right, look, you're, they're looking at you like you're stupid. They all just drop their shit. No, they're looking at no, you like you're stupid. No. no like no. I am. Nope, that's okay. Go ahead, tell us more about Grandma Cookie. Keep dropping shit. Stop. Nope. <laughs> Go ahead. Tell us more about Grandma Cookie. Um, so yeah, uh, no, never went to college, but Good. still I think she knows more than a lot of college educated people do. Good. So. Um, I would. I, that's that. That that makes sense. I mean, Grandma you know, Cookie, and like I said, my brother, my dad, he knows more mm -hmm. about like mm -hmm. life than a lot of people do as well. He's just, hey, Dad, I need you to fix this. Yep, got it. Dad, I need you to help with this. Yep, got it. Good. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm surrounded by a lot of strong people. That's awesome. Good Not you. you. No, that's I, I wasn't implying that I would be, but I'm I'm right up there. But go ahead. No, you're not. That's all right. Okay. Um, <laughs> you're <being> mean now. <laughs> what <laughs> advice? Would you give to your teenage self? Oh man, um, there are so many things. Well, since you're like old now. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm not Grandma Cookie old, but I'm old. Um, I would say being uh, being smart, kind, and honest trumps being sexy, hot, and pretty. Yes. Every day, right? I hear that. Yeah. So I mean, some of us have all of it, but I, I'm living it. I mean, <laughs> the struggle is real. I get it. The struggle is real. I mean, hello. Um, but I think I think going a little bit deeper than yeah. that in in thinking about it, uh, it, something for you know individually. But I think this a lot of people can connect with this. Mm -hmm. So, um, just thinking about that, like what defines you as an individual. Um, it's not your career or your accomplishments. And a lot of people, you know, like attached to that. For sure. But how kind you are to others and the feeling you leave people with. That's so important to me. That's huge. It's so important to me. Um, always try and be uh, nice as possible to everyone you meet. When others are rude or mean to you like you've been, remember that it's not reflective of what's, it's reflective of what's going on in their head, not mine. And it's the issues that they have, not me. You're such a... So, you know, by the same vein, you know, try not to be judgmental mm -hmm. or judge them because, you know, instead try to just understand them. I mean, you, you, we don't know what other people are going through. No. You know, and, and that's something that um, I know, you know, Ryan learned in, in high school when he went on the, uh, the, the retreat uh, that the high school was on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, he learns so much about people because oh, yeah. when they start divulging their story, you go, oh my gosh, I never knew you had all of that. Yeah. So, you know, it, 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 we just tend to, to move in a society that is so fast that it's quick to judge and quick to make a decision. And if you stop to take a second, everybody, everybody's battling something. Everyone is. And, and you have no idea what it is. Right. And, yeah. you know, how, who are you to, you know, judge them? You don't, you would not walk in a day in their shoes. Yeah. So. 
Um, I think that's what I would tell my yeah. younger self for sure. That's cool. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, All right, it makes you think. It does. That's what we try to do here is make people think, right? Um, so if you had to change your first name, what would you change it to? Layla. <laughs> I would. I would. I love the name Layla. If I ever have a child, I will name her Layla. I just, is, I, there, is there a, a story behind that? Besides like, Eric Clapton's song? No. Really? Yeah. Um, so a little a little insight into Amy. Um, so when I was born, you know, your parents were throwing around names what they right. wanted. To, um, Grandma Cookie mm -hmm. wanted to name me Katiri. Mm -hmm. Katiri. Katiri. Floyd wanted to name me Megan, not to be confused with Megan. 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 Okay. All right. Roseanne wanted to name me Gwendolyn. Ooh. Wendy for short. Wendy or Gwendy? Wendy. 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 Okay. Thank you, Ken, for choosing my name as Amy. How did, you, how did Ken choose your name? Ken, at the song Amy came on the radio, and my parents and him were driving, and he goes, why don't we name her Amy? How much older is Ken than you? Three years. As a three-year-old, he, he yeah, said Yeah, Amy, that? yeah. Swear to God. So, wow. So thank you, Ken. I am so blessed for you every single day that I'm not a Katiri a or a Gwendolyn or a Megan. But yes, oh. Layla, because of that Eric Clapton song. Okay. And one of my friends just named her baby girl Layla. I mean, forget the whole Layla story. The other ones are much, much stronger. It's fantastic, right? Yeah. I know. Kateri. I know. And then my other dad's joke was Sigourney Beaver instead of Sigourney Weaver. Floyd. <laughs> Keep your day job. Wow. So what is Grandma Cookie's real first name? Rosemary. Not Gwendolyn. No. <laughs> but I don't know where Gwendolyn came from. I don't... I don't know the story behind it. Yeah, your mom has some fondness for that name. She just, wow. She, I know. That's so very thanks so much, Ken, for naming me Amy. Wow. Okay. Right. I think I'm an Amy. I think Amy is a fitting name for me. Yes. And yes. Kateri was because she was some some Native American princess. That's, yeah, well. Well, yeah. and I found out, you know, very two fitting. years ago that I'm not Native American anymore. So. But you are a princess. We are. I uh -huh. am. Yes. All right. Okay. Are you ready for your favorite question of the week? Okay. I hate you. <laughs> the, the zombie apocalypse is coming. Because that's real. Who? It's called COVID. <laughs> Who are three people you want on your team? Zombie apocalypse. Everybody think about this. This this is keep your close friends. I, I, I want to hear yours as well, but I will go ahead and uh, I'm going to date myself a little bit, but I'm also Wait, going Wait, are you to going people you know or just people in the universe? Just people. So yes. not like friends. No. Okay. No, and it could be. I mean, I, none of my friends are, are apocalypse worthy. <laughs> I don't think that. I don't think my friend group is apocalypse worthy. When you think about oh, like you know, my my you know yeah. my age group and demographic, I'm going no. Okay. <laughs> so we have some people try to outsmart no. So in my so like when I asked this question it was not to be rude. It was just to simply yeah. be like, what the three first the three names that came off to your head when you were okay. Um, and, and I did the same thing. I went three names that just come out to my head quickly. Okay, yes. you're gonna laugh at a couple of them, but uh, it's just normal. It's just who I am. Okay, Steven Seagal. He's out there just kicking everybody's rear end. He, he is. He he's, is. He's, he's he's pretty ba. He's right? pretty ba. Okay. Um, Ralph Macchio. I know he's coming in. Macchio. Hot. <laughs> I think Ralph Bacchio is coming in hot. Macchio. Okay. Quite zombies. Again, I'm reflective of my age. And then Mike Tyson and his friend. Oh, Tyson. Tyson dropping zombies is amusing Zombie to me. Bombs. I think that Steven Seagal's out there doing his thing. And Ralph Macchio is, that's just amusing to me. I just find Ralph Macchio, you know, I'm a fan. So, oh, that's um, fantastic. Yeah, yeah, those are just three quick things that came to my head. I, did, I haven't thought past one. Yeah, okay, good. Because that's how the question is. It's like, you, you wrote this and said this to me that, you know, these are this is going to be your question. And I just sat there in awe going, who Why? What's up with these? Who's mentally I do. disturbed? I do. And then I wrote down what I wrote here today and said I shouldn't judge. I don't know what she's going through. And she's been mean most of the show. So she's obviously going mean. through something. You know, I mean, Floyd, you need to you need to do something and, and help uh, help us out. Don't, don't uh, feed me wine at 10 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, because those three sips are what put you it away. Is. So. so anyway, I'll give you my number one. Okay. My cousin Joe. Oh, yeah. Is my number one would be, this is like zombie land. Like, if I had to have a person on my team to kill zombies, it would be Joe Pastic. 100% hands down. 
And he, he take pleasure doing it too. Oh my god, right. laughing the entire time. Right. Oh, yeah. like, with he probably have his shirt off. Oh, shirt off, like Rambo headband around him. Um, oh my gosh, visuals. He's a Copendarian. He plays Call of Duty. I like. He has over a hundred wins in Call of Duty. So like, he's a BA. Yeah. So if I needed somebody to kill zombies, Joe Plastic, you're you're my number one. <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't come up with two or three though, then. Um, Bruce Lee, after you were talking. <laughs> See, yeah. <laughs> Fun thing right. to watch. Uh -huh. um, if we can get Godzilla, that'd be good. You know, Godzilla would be Kong, great. Some, you know, some of these crazy big animals. See, now you're thinking. This is how you're supposed to think about right. this. I, I, I put all my thinking into the... Uh, you know what I would tell my younger self. It was a lot of thought that it, and I had to write a story about scary stuff. So, so you, this was supposed to be your brain. You exhausted me. You're welcome. You are not okay. All right. So Plastic and Bruce Lee hanging out. So, <laughs> um, the last question for you is: What's the worst gift you've ever received, and from whom? Okay, it yeah, was. Gotta call them out. It was a Blu-ray DVD of America: The Story of Us. Which was, it's a history channel. Okay. You know, um, three DVDs, nine hours. I didn't have a Blu ray player. So I got to watch three DVDs for nine hours with one of my ex boyfriend's families because we had to watch them all together. Nine, yeah, you're getting itchy thinking about that. Yeah. Wow. Uh huh. Because I was like, oh, Oh man, do they sell this on DVD because I don't have a Blu-ray? Oh, we got a Blu-ray player right here, we'll pop it in. Wow. See, it's not really the present, it, it was like the, the aftermath. Yeah. Of the yeah. Nine hours of America, the story of us. So how's therapy been? Dude, not enough. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. That is disturbing. I'm, and I'm like, I'm reliving it right now. Re I can't even speak right now, yeah. I'm so disturbed by it. I'm reliving it. That's a bad gift. That is really a bad gift. Carol said she has martial arts training. Yes, I know, honey. I, I know, but like, <laughs> Ralph Macchio, honey. I mean, uh, it's Ralph Macchio, come on. So yeah, that was the, the worst one. Kid. And like, because, you know, recently it's, what do you want for Christmas? Like that, I haven't, mm -hmm. it's usually that. So like, I had to rewind. I mean, this was before Joe's. So this was, you know, 10 years ago. And it still is like, oh. Uh, yeah. Nine hours of history. With, with my ex-boyfriend's family. Mm, probably a lot of dialogue happening there too, oh right? God. Yeah, right. Oof. Nine hours sitting in silence. Well, Do you have a worse present? I have so many. <laughs> I have so many. You have to get more being like a parent than... I have so many. And it, it's not necessarily always for the kids. I mean, because the Spinners was a great gift. Um, <laughs> no one ever. Um, the Spinners were great. I, I, I mean, yes, my childhood is filled with... with really bad gifts and uh, uh, turtlenecks and such yes and gifts that you would just go wow like those you know how they have the frozen the pants that stand up by themselves I have pants that do that without the frozen like starch stiff and, oh you know, no you know, crunchy like, pants oh yeah just like thanks <laughs> you guys got the receipt I'll burn these <laughs> yeah. you know I, I was I was the obnoxious kid that went uh, and I, it was always the same person it was always. always the same individual and it was always the you know as a little kid you just say things Unconsciously, you don't think it was. Um, do you have the receipt? Because <laughs> I knew I could. Take it of back. course you would. Of you course. have the receipt. But so, yeah, that started my fashion, you know, trend. Going, yes. I can't ever. I can't do look that. Like. But yeah. if you Google just like worst Christmas presents ever, mm -hmm. freaking hysterical. Oh, sure. oh my god! I was almost this morning. I was looking at it just because I was laying in bed, like almost peeing my pants at like what people go through. It's good so time. yeah, if you need a little chuckle. Have a glass of wine, right? Because it's National right. Wine Day. Start and, your morning. And just Google Absolutely. worst Christmas presents. Start your morning, ladies and gentlemen. That is our get to know Drew and Amy a little bit more. And those are our our questions that we love to share and ask with each other, and get to get to dig a little deeper and learn a little bit uh, more, and, and just share those things with you guys. And, I feel like you know, that zombie one should be like an interview question for everyone. Ugh. No, because you don't know the people, and you don't know what exactly. They're talking about. It's disturbing you. It's disturbing you. you. You need help. Why don't we wrap up this fine Thursday? And uh, did you see that it was snowing outside again? How many days in a row? It's, it's like three hundred. I I feel like it's been snowing for like two years. Are you ready for spring? Yes. Yeah. I'm so ready for spring. Yeah. I, I, I'm over my Uggs and my. The crack of a baseball bat is something I really need to hear. And, uh, did you hear Makata's song? No. 
Oh gosh, I gotta YouTube that. You okay. have to. Great, my cat has got a song. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> it's so bad. Yeah, please don't try to sing it. Why don't we uh, let the folks uh, get out of here and we'll share with them our... Speaking of cracking baseball bats. Yes, let's do our quote of the day. All Amy, right. Go first, please. Quote of the day, everybody. Quote of the day. You will meet two kinds of people in life, ones who build you up and ones who tear you down. Yes. But in the end, you'll thank them both. Yes, you will. I think I, I like that. I've seen that. I've read that. I, I really dig that one. Good job. My quote of the day is, um, when you talk, you are only repeating what you already know, but when you listen, you may learn something new. As a topic and theme of kind of what we've been mm -hmm. up against here these uh, these last uh, weeks with uh, yeah. you know the, the skill of listening, but uh, wait, what? Do I say something? <laughs> are you um, speaking? Yep. Yeah. So remember, you know, the art of listening, guys. It's 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 probably more important than speaking. You can learn a lot more by. By listening and you know as the quote says you're you're just repeating what you know by talking that's what we do on this show we talk about what we know we talk about um, you know our experiences and all the things that we do so um, try listening because it it may find you some knowledge that you've been seeking and you didn't even know it so um, we thank you for joining us again on our Thursday morning edition of title talk we, we Again, I'm just so thankful for you guys tuning in every week and supporting us. Make sure you check out our YouTube. We've got yeah. the new videos up. There's some the, there's some cool videos on YouTube. Yeah, was, yeah. yeah. The backgrounds and, and things. We backgrounds some things and up graphics and, and all that yeah. fun stuff. So we've uh, done some fun to that. So mm -hmm. like us and share us and, and do all the great things that uh, social media asks of you. Um, get our name out there. And if you know of anybody that is looking for a title company who cares and the title company of the ages, Inspired Title Group. That's that's who we are. Again, my name's Drew. And my name is Amy. Until next week, we wish you a good week. Healthy, safe, warm. stay out of trouble, warm. The spring's all that fun coming. Stuff. Stick in there, everybody. We'll see you guys all next week. Take care. Bye.